Okay, so my name is Michael Essien and I'm here to uh, reveal something very important uh, as far as trading is concerned. I'd like you to know that uh, if you're in this trading industry, you need to keep improving, you have to keep learning and all of that. So, um, this evening I want to talk about uh, analysis elimination, um, how you can use that to, you know, become a more profitable trader by using the concept of analysis elimination. So I had to put up a definition for that so that uh, it will be able to capture everything that uh, analysis elimination is about. I'm going to give us an uh, example, however, but uh, in my definition, this is what I, I wrote down. So I'll read it up and then you just listen and then I will explain. So analysis elimination is an asset screening concept where an asset undergoes structural pattern screening and if it does not satisfy the protocol or criteria for which that pattern is justified then that pattern is eliminated for that asset under analysis till a pattern is matched for that asset or not now, I want to say that again. Analysis emission is an asset screening concept where an asset undergoes structural pattern screening. And if it does not satisfy the protocol or criteria for which that pattern is justified, then that, uh, then that pattern is eliminated for that asset undergoing that analysis in a pattern is matched for that asset or not. Now, what does that mean? Uh, what this means is, uh, you know, uh, prior to this time, uh, for crash and boom, it's been indicator, indicator here and there. Of course, indicator still works, and of course, nobody can completely write off the use of indicator. Okay, but you see, we need to understand that every now and then we keep making research, we keep developing. I myself, I keep learning every day. Now, I have done um, some more research, and this is what I want to say. This does not in any way mean that you cannot use indicator to trade. There are a lot of people, of course, the people who designed those indicators were not stupid. It was meant for something, and it is still applicable and still useful today. So, but what is uh, analysis elimination in a layman's step? Now, this is what it means. As a trader, for example, and let me use a specific example, you want to trade... Um, or you want to analyze if certain asset, maybe uh, C500, Crash 500, or V75, or whatever asset you want to trade with. Uh, you can use indicator for whatever uh, uh, stuff, maybe for your entry or whatever. It's fine. But I am saying this now, that uh, every asset you analyze should be screened based on pattern. Every asset you, you, are, you are planning to trade, trade on or you are analyzing must pass through must pass a pattern screening test or assessment now this is what I mean we have a lot of patterns that we can learn we have divergences we have flat patterns we have head and shoulders we have uh, SMC uh, smart money concept you have other blocks and other stuff you can all you, you can learn these are key structural patterns we observe in the market right and those are based on price action right okay so the point i'm making is with um, analysis elimination this is what you, this is how it applies you pick an asset in the morning uh, for example crash 500 and you want to trade that asset so what you do is you 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 know you've understood all of these patterns you know you know the criteria that makes for a validated divergence or flat pattern or SMC or what so you understand the protocol of each of these pattern all right so you bring crash 500 into the table and said uh, looking at this time frame or for whatever time frame maybe h4 daily or whatever time frame you want to use for your analysis okay you said I'm looking out for a flat pattern so you screen that asset for flat pattern you didn't find a, you've not found any flat pattern on it so you mark X, flat pattern not found. All right, you bring in uh, the, the criteria for evaluated divergence. You look through uh, for divergence. You didn't find divergence, you mark it. 
So the essence of doing that is that by the time you screen that asset for all of these known patterns, and you are not able to find any suitable pattern to trade that asset, it therefore means that that asset is not ready as at the time of that analysis. So you have to drop it, pick another asset. If you go through that for different assets, depending on the ones you want to analyze, and you find a structure, you find a pattern, maybe you find a flat pattern on something, maybe on a particular time frame on a particular asset, or it is divergence you found. Now, you have a basis, you have a structural reason behind trading that asset. You're not just trading it endlessly. Somebody will ask you, why are you taking this trade? You say, okay, because I found a divergence on H4, or maybe there is a flat pattern on that asset. So there is a strong reason behind your taking that trade. Now, indicator can also come as a backup or as confirmations. So that is what analysis elimination. So you are eliminating patterns that are not found on that asset. That way you're streamlining your options to what you are looking for, what really works. Okay? So for example, I bring in Crash 1000. I look through for flag patterns I can't find, maybe through different time frames. I didn't find any one, so I can't trade flag pattern because there is none found. I look for I, I look out for a, a divergence. I didn't find anyone, whether hidden or regular divergence. I didn't find anyone. I dropped that one. I look out for smart money concept. What are the protocol for engaging smart money concept? I looked through. I didn't find it. I dropped it. By and large, there will be one pattern, maybe head and shoulder. Oh, they head and shoulder on this uh, asset. And so I will have to wait for all the criteria for uh, a validated head and shoulder to play out. That's the reason behind my taking that trade. That way, even if the structure becomes compromised, you took that trade because there was something backing, up, uh, backing it up. So does this mean that you cannot use indicator? Of course you can, and we still do. All right? Uh, for those of you who understand the EP strategy that I, 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 I put out there, it's still working till today. It's still working till today. And let me tell you this. If you extend the time frame to 15 minutes time frame for C1000, EEP works now for, for C1000. That is if you extend the time frame to 15 minutes. The same conditions for C500, M5. You extend the same condition to M15. That will play out for C1000. Uh, most especially if you're not against uh, the trend. If the C1000, for example, is supporting itself from the major time frame, then M15 should be your basis for uh, EEP. I'm sure you're hearing this for the first time. So this is, uh, th that's to say that uh, indicator still works. But what I'm saying tonight or this time is make sure that whatever asset you are trading must carry a structural bias. And so that by the time you are analyzing or doing analysis for each of these assets, try to make sure that a pattern is screened for that asset and by the time um, that asset uh, there is no pattern you know uh, you, you can't find a pattern justifiable enough for that asset you drop that one look pick up another pattern how do you do that what are the conditions for a divergence of a flag try to check if you can find it in this asset you're analyzing if you can't find it you drop it but at, at the end, you'll find one or two um, patterns that plays out either in a particular time frame or this other one. Then that becomes a strong point for you taking that trade. That concept where you allow an asset to be screened by different patterns and the pattern that fits in becomes the bias for taking that trade is what we call analysis elimination. It helps you to streamline your analysis, I mean to streamline your options to what really works or to what you really need to depend on. And so this is something we need to learn. Maybe you've not had this anywhere before, but that's the truth. So for my, for me, what I do is I make sure when I want to start trading, I, I check, have I seen what is this pattern? I've not found any pattern or except I just want to trade, you know, the shortcuts, maybe EP or something else. So 
this is what I want to say. If you're trading, make sure that something backs up the reason for taking that trade. Now, let it not only be an indicator, let it be a market pattern. All right, so that's why you need to learn divergence. You need to learn SMC, smart money concept. Of course, I'm not against it. It's a good stuff. Um, all the most important thing, white off and all of those stuff, amazing stuff. If you have the understanding, you will have to check as, oh, I did find divergence, but there is a flat pattern on this asset. Oh, I didn't find a flat pattern, but I'm seeing head and shoulder. So when you understand the protocol or the criteria for validated or for, for, for patterns validity, what makes each of these patterns validated, it will help your trading a big deal. So this is what I wanted to share. Let me quickly talk about Tradematics. Please listen carefully. Tradematics is important if you are going to become um, sustainable in your trading journey. What is Tradematics? The concept where you calculate your gains, your potential gains and your potential losses ahead of time. Under a structural uh, program, I will call a trading plan. So the concept where, you know, what I'm saying is, by the time, you see, sometimes you take trades, and you get so pissed off. My trade hit stop loss or something. If you had factored in how much you're willing to lose, it wouldn't come as a surprise to you when it when actually your stop loss is. Because from the very beginning, you're already you're willing that okay, this is the amount of money I'm willing to lose. It comes when you have that in mind from the very beginning of that of, of that trade. That comes into where you plan, you know, your risk and your reward from the very beginning. And that becomes a pattern where it helps you grow or trade is trader matrix. Okay, so that is that. And if you're going to be a successful trader, you have to plan for your losses ahead of time, what you're willing to lose, or what you're willing uh, and how much you're willing to get. Risk reward ratio is a key factor if you're going to succeed. So risk management is generally what this is about. So please, from today going forward, if you're seeing this video, make sure that you apply the concept of analysis and regulation. If you're going to take any trade, find a structure or a pattern behind that asset. Let there be a reason why you're taking that trade. Don't take it because of just crosses, just crosses on indicator. That is not enough. This does not negate my video on the power of MA cross. It's still very effective, but I'm adding something to you now. Behind that MA cross, check for a pattern that supports what the MA cross is telling you. If that happens, for example, you are seeing a bullish flag saying that the market is going to buy, and then there is a, a cross for a buy, that's even a double confirmation. It means that what is pushing that buy in the first place is not the cross, but the pattern, which is the bullish flag. So this is the concept that you need to use this approach to help you to do more in your trading. I have a large community of people that are together, we share ideas, and we do a lot of stuff. If you want to be part of that community, you can always get on the link in the description below, and then get into the inquiry group, and then you'll be let in into this community. We're doing well by God's grace. And even though sometimes we make losses, which is normal, but the goal is to become profitable at the end of the day. I wish you well, and thank you very much for listening. Cheers.